Hey guys, welcome back to another workout of the week. I hope you can hear me. It might be a little windy recording this on my phone, but we had to get outside with all the sunshine. This workout of the week is fantastic. It's a sprinting workout, so if you can find a local track, a local high school, head out there. I came out to Richmond today. It's a beautiful blue track here in Richmond. Um, and we're gonna do some sprinting. So if you have not sprinted in a long time, uh, please maybe go to a different workout of the week or really, really scale down. Maybe start with walks, speed walks, or even jogs. Um, heading right into sprints after a long, long break, maybe ever. It is a first class ticket to a hamstring tear. We do not want that. So scale this to you. If you, if you do this as a full workout, you're gonna do all of the 10 sprints that I prescribe, or you're gonna uh, modify this down by just doing the first sets of uh, lower yardage sprints. But you're gonna love it. Start the workout with a half a mile to mile walk and full warm up, full dynamic warm up. Um, really try to get those muscles loosened up. Make sure you have a dynamic warm up, hitting, making sure all of your muscles are active, they're engaged, and uh, ready to go. Then you are simply going to do this. I'm not going to go through them all because I'll run far away, but you are going to do one to two sets of 40 yard sprints um, at about 40 to 60 percent of your max. Then you're going to do one to two sets of 60 yard sprints at about 60 to 80 percent of your uh, max. Then you're going to do an 80 yard sprint at about 60 to 80 percent max. Then you're going to do six to seven or really four to seven 80 to 100 yard sprints at uh, 85 plus percent of your max. Really trying to get after it. Um, here's the thing. After each sprint, you're doing a slow walk back and you're going to be fully, fully rested before you do each next sprint. You want to give everything that you have within that sprint. Again, if you feel up to it, if you feel good, you want to hit those percentages if you can. I know sometimes percentages can be kind of like a nebulous thing. So really, when you hit your max sprints, you want to be giving pretty much all out effort. Uh, again, scaling them to you. Um, you might even want to see a doctor before if you're ready to sprint. Sprinting is a really, really, really beneficial tool. Uh, it also can be fairly risky. But, so that, that is all of them. You're going to absolutely love it. Really get after it in those sprints. When you are done, finish with a half a mile, two mile walk around the track. And then if you can, do a full stretch and even foam roll if you can. So if you have a foam roller that you can bring out, I highly, highly suggest you do a full stretch and then you really at least roll out your hamstrings, your calves, your quads, so really get up there. I'm not gonna go through a full rollout. I'll, uh, I'll try to link to a rollout um, video underneath this, but really get, under, get your hamstrings all the way, so the sides, the middle, the insides, and then um, your, your quads and your hip flexors um, as a whole. So really get down in there right into your hip flexors, but that's it, that's all of them. Uh, half a mile to mile walk, full dynamic warm-up, a few 40-yard sprints, a few 60-yard sprints, and then maxing out at the 80 to 100-yard sprints on a track. Get outside, feel that sunshine. The wind was blowing today, but it's a beautiful thing when it's summertime. Let's all get fit this week.